It's our second day in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We got up bright and early and have a long day ahead of us. But first things first, breakfast. Good morning. It's 8.30 a.m. in the morning and we're having breakfast at the local bakery. It's called Divine and it's only two minute walk from Container Hotel. So this is definitely will be our breakfast spot. The cafe is super cute and cozy and has a great selection of pastries ranging from sweet to savory. Perfect spot to get a cup of coffee and delicious freshly baked pastry for breakfast. It also has an outdoor seating area to enjoy your breakfast outside on a sunny day. After stuffing our faces with tons of pastries, we decided to walk off our carb-loaded breakfast and see what's in the area. In about 10 minutes of walking, we hit the shopping strip and were surprised by insane amount of luxury fashion brand stores all located in close vicinity to each other. This is the high-end brand mall. And that is the high-end brand mall. And look at that! In the corner there, there is also a high-end brand mall. How many do you need? We're visiting Kuala Lumpur in January during Lunar New Year and been seeing a lot of festive decorations. Those make for a great background for photos and of course I couldn't miss a chance to snap a few colorful pictures. People are lining up to get into the mall even though there are six malls on this corner. Tough life. So far the four different malls that we tried to go into are closed. Seems like most of them open at 10 a.m. So they're taking it easy. Very laid back. No one wants to start uh, earlier than 10 a.m. Not bad. Ta-da! The doors are open. <laughs> we got in even earlier. <laughs> After getting a few essentials at the mall, we jumped into Uber to get to Dataran Merdeka Square, also known as Independence Square. Our plan for today is pretty laid back and mostly include walking around. We want to check out the city gallery, the local flea market and maybe a few other spots nearby Dataran Merdeka. We are at Plaza Dataran Merdeka. I'm gonna go take a few pictures with the KL love sign and then we'll go and check out the Kuala Lumpur city gallery. It's the gallery that displays the past history of Kuala Lumpur and the plans that they have for the future. I Heart KL sign is a huge hit among tourists and it became an iconic art installation of Kuala Lumpur. To take a picture with KL sign you need to line up. It's a busy spot. To be honest we're not big fans of going to galleries and museums. But Kuala Lumpur City Gallery pleasantly surprised us. It was a very short, fun and educational visit. City Gallery tells the story of the past, present and future of Kuala Lumpur in a very interactive and fun way through a spectacular city model show. It is one of those attractions that you need to experience yourself to really appreciate it. The light show is only a few minutes, but it left a very lasting impression on us. Too bad you can't take pictures, as it's dark and they just don't turn out well. The gallery is open daily and is visited by up to 3,000 visitors a day. Entrance is only 10 ringgit and it's well worth it. Another cool exhibit was a display of miniature architecture of some of the main attractions of Kuala Lumpur. Such a fascinating and detailed work. If you're feeling creative, you can even take a do-it-yourself workshop to build architectural scale models and create your own replica of Petrona Towers or any other world-famous architecture. The souvenir shop offers a great selection of many beautiful handmade souvenirs like magnets, keychains, bookmarks and art pieces. And of course, lots of souvenirs with the iconic I Heart KL sign. We're gonna take the city view. Of course, I love KL and Petronas Towers. Afterwards, we went for a walk around the square, snapped a few pictures and took a moment to relax on one of many benches overlooking the square. We even strolled down to Masjid Jamek Mosque, but unfortunately it was closed for renovations. Next up on the agenda is local flea market. Follow us to Yalan Patalin and discover a hidden gem to buy souvenirs. 
all that in our next episode. As always, thank you for watching, like, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from Malaysia.